Excellent. So welcome everybody to the UC Berkeley Cloud Computing Meetup. My name is Amy Nieser and I work in Research IT, which is part of the research teaching and learning organization here on the UC Berkeley campus. And what we do is we partner with faculty, students and staff, essentially researchers to help them with their data and their computing needs in order to advance research on the UC Berkeley campus. And there's several of my research IT colleagues here. So hello everyone. And I'm one of the planners of the cloud computing meetup. I see we have Jeff and Bill and Anthony here as well. Those are my co-conspirators. So welcome from all of us, everyone. So let's go to the next slide. So here are our planners. Um, as I mentioned, um, we have Berkeley IT, that's Bill, the Division of Computing, Data Science and Society, Anthony, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, Jeff, uh, Research IT, myself, and actually Skydeck as well, because once upon a time we used to hold this event in person in the Skydeck. Um, so thanks to all of our planners. Um, I did not have any announcements today, so I would like to open up the floor for a moment to see if anybody else has any cloud related announcements that they would like to share. You're welcome to either unmute yourself or put it in the chat and I would be happy to read those out. So any announcements? I didn't get the page posted in time, but this is I think the first meetup where we've actually got the all the information for next month available. So next month, uh, the last Thursday of the month at one o'clock, we'll be hearing from Alexandra uh, Savaleva, who has done an amazing um, research inquiry into yoga and uh, how it ties into physiology and the benefits from that. And so it analyzes movement. Uh, so she'll be presenting on that. And that's part of the vendor showcase sponsored by, it's not sponsored, they didn't give any money, but it's, we're allowing vendors to sort of pick uh, and identify people. So that's Microsoft, so it features Azure. So that's next month. Thank you, Bill. As a yogi myself, I'm excited about that talk. Um, any other announcements before we move on? All right, well, if you think of anything in the meantime, feel free to share in the chat, of course. Um, let's see, I see Yoshi says, our Google Rep will be hosting an office hours event on April 14th for anyone at Berkeley who wants to learn GCP topics. Great, thank you for sharing that. All right, so um, next I'm going to turn things over to Karina, who's going to run our poll. Yeah, um, so if everyone could go to menti.com and just use the code here on the screen, 66496030. And then we'll turn over to the poll. The code should still be on the top of the screen and we'll wait for the responses to come in. Looks like we have quite a few staff today. We have a few guests here and students as well. Good to see such a great mix of people from the community coming in. We'll wait a few minutes, a few more seconds for a few more responses here. Great, it's great to see such a um, wide mix of people here today. Um, we'll move on to the next question now. So this is how often have you used GCP or Google Cloud platforms? Seems like mostly occasionally or never right now. A few people use it a lot. Um, so hopefully for the people who use it occasionally or never, um, this talk today will inspire you to use GCP maybe a bit more than you do already, or just for you to learn a bit more about GCP in general. Next up, we have a question about ALS. So what does ALS stand for?
seems like everyone's mainly everyone's choosing advanced light source right now. <laughs> Um, with acute list server and AT&T local service. Um, it seems like the majority did get the right answer here. The right um, ALS does stand for advanced light source and we'll be hearing more about that during the talk today. Finally, we have one more question. Just are you interested in an in-person event? few maybes, few yeses, occasionally. Um, great, these answers will help us with planning our future events. So this is really great um, to receive your input here.